Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay, and then let's say funds transfer. So what are the steps for funds transfer? We got to inform it to our developer. Let's say first time we have to register a pay. While we register the pay, we need his details like his name, his account number, what is the uh, bank in which he has the account, in which branch he has the account, okay, what is his location, right? So we got to provide all such information when we first time register the pay. And then after the confirmation, we can make the payment to him. And while making the payment, what are the different, you know, um, information that we want to add? Let's say we got to add the name of the pay. We can select one of them, enter the account number, enter the amount here, okay? Whether we want to schedule it for tomorrow or we want to transfer it right away. Okay, so even in the funds transfer, there are so many technical specifications which we got to give to our developer. And not just this, okay, he should also get the look and feel of it, the design, how the website should look like. Okay, for funds transfer, should we create a button or should we just create a link? Okay, if we are creating the website, then obviously we should have a logo, we should have the name of the company, right? We should have some contact information here. So how should the page look like, right? And what should be col color of this? What should be the theme of this? So like this, we got to give all the technical specifications to our developer. I mean, we need not create the website, but the business analyst has to create the mock-up, okay? Nothing but two-dimensional images he got to create so that the developer gets an idea what should be the look of the website okay whether to be used a button or a hyperlink what to be used if this button is clicked should we open a new window should we open a new tab here okay what to be done or should we you know open a pop-up what should exactly be done so all this kind of diagrammatic information plus the specification has to be shared with our developer so that he is able to develop the software. So here, what we do? This business requirements are converted into the technical specifications. By whom it can be done? Again, by the business analyst. And the document that he prepares, it is called as the system requirements specification or technical specification document okay functional specification document all are one and the same okay SRS FSD all are one and the same okay fine so after analysis what next design design of the software what is exactly done here obviously the design okay who is involved we call him as an architect or we also call him as a designer. Document that is prepared, it is called as the design document. Okay. So let's say now this website here, 
our internet banking software it needs the database in the back end right because all the information of the customers have to be stored so this database will contain the tables means the customer information will be storing it in the form of tables so that it looks in an organized way it will contain the different columns what kind of data to be entered what are the different tables what is the relationship between the tables so all these things have to be decided this is nothing but the database design and on the front end also the data i mean the user interface has to be designed okay the logic has to be written what are the steps to be followed okay how many programs to be written so the entire logic development has to be done by the designer design of the user interface design of the database has to be done by the architect okay in the design phase after that based on this logic we got to do the development okay so what happens in the development programs are written who got to write these programs it is the developer who writes the programs right each one of us know developer is very popular right okay we also call him as a programmer he writes the programs for us and then what documents he prepares so when he is writing programs he got to save it right so where will he save it he will save it in the files and we call them as program files more technical word is source code document okay it is called as what source code document then after this now our software is ready what next obviously we got to test it okay so next step is testing what exactly happens here we will learn about it throughout the course who is involved qa is involved we also call him as what software tester or qa analyst okay or we can call him as test engineer right all these roles are one and the same qa analyst software tester test engineer right so when you want to search the job you can give the different kinds of search what documents he prepares this also we will learn it in detail throughout the course okay next after testing what we have to do now it is a time for us to release the software to the client okay release means what we should install the software on the client machine it is called as deployment it is a technical terminology okay deployment or installation both are one and the same so the software has to be installed on the client machine so what happens here you do the installation here who does it it will be done by the developers obviously with the help of system admin okay and the document that we prepare here we call it as installation manual which will contain all the steps to install the software system specification or the system requirements okay then after that we have the user acceptance testing or the user training okay now when you give the new software okay let's say there are bank employees you give them a new software do you think they'll be able to use it no because they are common people okay they are bank employees not the you know software engineers right so they will not be able to use it right away we got to train them how to use the software for example now you have learned the manual testing let's say i will give you an automation testing tool qtp i tell you to work on it can you work on it you cannot work we got to train you on the new software that we give you right so that is nothing but user training so what is done here here the users are going to do the testing and plus we give them the training okay so who is involved here from our it project team it is a business analyst who is involved 
and the user testing will be done by whom? It is called user acceptance testing. So who does the testing? Users do the testing. Okay. And what documents are prepared here? We call it as a user manual. Okay. So this is nothing but the software development life cycle. The different steps, what is exactly done, who is involved and what documents we prepare. Okay. Fine. Now, I will give you a small assignment. Okay, not a very difficult one. Okay, so everybody take your papers. I will leave the screen as it is. Okay, not to worry. But I have a request. You should not see on the screen. Without looking on the screen, write all the phases involved. And then what is done, who are involved what documents you prepare. So this entire table you recollect and try to write it on the paper. Only if you do not remember you should look on the screen. Okay? Fine. So I will give you five minutes time for this. Everybody start writing this table on the paper. All this information is there in the PPT. Okay? You need not worry. The purpose you are going to write it is for your practice and in case you have any questions type them on the chat box okay fine then I will be putting myself on mute everybody take five minutes time and try to recollect and write this entire table okay So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.